This is module four, lesson one, side one. Today's objective was to understand area as an attribute of a plane figure. Number one, Magnus covers the same shape with triangles, rhombuses, and trapezoids. Letter A. How many triangles will it take to cover the shape? I notice that there are already three triangles drawn there. So I am going to continue to draw triangles. One, two, three. There are one, two, three, four, five, six triangles on the top. I'm going to continue that same process on the bottom and draw. So, so far I have one, two, three triangles. If I look, I have a similar shape here. I can guess that I have another three triangles. And it is three more, four, five, six, giving me a total of 12 triangles. Letter B, how many rhombuses will it take to cover the shape? My rhombuses were the blue shapes that we looked at today. If I look at the picture I have so far, it looks like there are two covering I can continue to draw the line across, and there are three rhombuses. Three rhombuses fit on the top. Let's see what happens when I continue drawing the lines down below. One, two, three. I have three again. So this time I have six rhombuses that cover the shape on part B. Magnus notices that three triangles from part A cover one trapezoid. How many trapezoids will you need to cover the shape below? Explain your answer. So looking back at part number A, we can see that three triangles make one trapezoid. That means another three triangles will make a second trapezoid. Continue to look at part A to help you figure out how many trapezoids will cover the shape. Then use words to explain how you knew that many trapezoids would cover the shape without having to draw anything into your picture.